I said a bit about you can use these variance components for sample size estimation for that rabbit study. So it's just to kind of emphasize that it's often possible to redefine the formulae for sample size in terms of your different variance components. For example, if we had a, a study with biological and technical replicates, the overall variance of our mean group differences can be defined in terms of the residual or between replicate variance and the variance component for the biological replicates. And we could potentially rearrange that to get formulae that would define sample size either in terms of the number of biological replicates or the number of technical replicates. So it might be quite interesting you know, to play around with how many, if you want to show a result over and be sure that it's valid over different biological replicates, how many do I need? And likewise, how many technical replicates is it necessary to take for each within each of those biological experiments?